eagle-eyed viewers might have seen that fish <laughs> creeping onto the set a moment ago. They're very eager fish, Harry Haddocks, because they're into the uh, quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Yeah, so just making sure that they're inflated because they've got to stay inflated now. They and have. Grimsby match at Brighton. Brighton. History making Grimsby Town. It's an epic FA Just Cup explain take. what happened last night. It's a fishy tale, I will indeed. Yeah, it will go down as one of the biggest upsets in FA Cup history after League Two Grimsby Town. The lowest ranked team in the fifth round pulled off a 2 1 victory at uh, Premier League Southampton. It was two penalties as well, either side of half time from the Mariners, Gavin Holohan which helped to send Grimsby into the uh, FA Cup quarterfinals for the first time in 84 years. And to the team and their fans with their inflatable haddocks, we'll be off to Brighton next in a couple of weeks' time. We're now joined by the scorer himself, Gavin Houlihan, or Hallahan, who scored those two penalties against Southampton last night. And also Nigel Lowther, the former journalist who came up with the original Harry Haddock back in the Cup run of 1989. <laughs> and it was in the crowd last night. <laughs> Morning, guys. Uh, Gavin, oh, first hi. of all, I know... You didn't get a coach back last night. The team stayed in Southampton. I know you got Carlisle on Saturday in League Two. What on earth were the celebrations like afterwards? Uh, I looked, they were fairly tame, like you said, because we've, we've got, uh, unfortunately, we've got another game. So, um, game on Saturday, tough game. Um, long travel again up to Carlisle. So, it was um, pretty tame, to, to say the but, least. But um, were there any, any inflatable fish involved at the team hotel, or was that just for the fans? I think there was a few popping out, popping around. Actually, yeah, there uh, there was, which was uh, which is funny, yeah. And you know, two penalties. Okay, we saw Harry Kane at the World Cup against France. He found it difficult to score two. You had no problems, did you? Scoring both. What was the pressure like? Tell us what was on your mind going through your emotions at these points. Um, ah, look, you just kind of you just try and keep as calm as possible, um, and just just obviously back yourself and have belief in yourself. Um, luckily, I had obviously I had practiced a few uh, yesterday in training. We had a. We had a light session before the game uh, yesterday morning, so luckily I, I practised a few and, um, yeah, it's just as well I did because it, uh, it paid off. Gavin, I saw an Ireland, Ireland, Irish flag there uh, f <laughs> flying in, in the crowd. W was, you, was, you, was your family over there to watch all this? Uh, no, they weren't, to be fair. It's just a couple of my mates um, from, from, from Hull, where I'm living. Um, one of them's a massive, uh, massive Celtic supporter, so uh, he brings the Irish flag wherever he goes. So um, yeah, he just threw it onto me and uh, just got it around my neck. So yeah, no, no, that was pretty special. Yeah. But, the, but the, your family back home must be absolutely delighted. Have they been in touch? What messages have you had from them? Yeah, it's been constant, constant. Uh, I think the first question is uh, when's the next round and how many tickets can you get? So um, <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, I'll have a massive list uh, to, to to go down through and and try and sort as many tickets as as I can. So that should be interesting. So. Um, no, they're all very proud and um, hopefully they can all get over for the quarterfinal. Yeah, someone else is so proud. Well, there were 4,200 4, fans there last night, including Nigel. Hi, Nigel. Are you the original creator of the Harry Haddock because you remember the cup run of 1989. Uh, first of all, what, what would you like to say on behalf of Harry's Everywhere and Grimsby fans to Gavin? <laughs> oh, morning, Mike. Morning, Gav. Wow, oh, what a performance. Morning, what a performance. Thank you so much. Uh, you, you did the town, the community, the club, yourselves so proud. And, um, and, and the fans, it, it was just uh, incredible to be in that crowd last night and a real privilege. Gavin, just wondering what difference... I, I talked to Harry Clifton, your teammate, the other day, actually, about this. What difference does seeing the inflatable fish, the haddocks, the identity of Grimsby make when you see them in the crowd, especially in an away game? A bit bizarre, to be honest. You just, uh, you look up and all you see is inflatable haddocks everywhere. It's um, yeah, it's pretty surreal, but uh, no, it definitely gives us boys a lift. Um, you know, it did in the in the last round against Luton as well. And um, yeah, it was um, it was just, yeah, pretty special last night. You're looking up and like I said, over 4,000 there, um, haddocks everywhere. And it was just, um, yeah, it was just a special occasion, really was. Uh, Gavin, one to you is Charlie here. Congratulations. Uh, for those people who don't follow uh, football regularly, it's just the whole idea of the little guys beating the big guys mm. that everyone just loves. Take me into the dressing room, I don't know, at half-time. What, what was being said? What was the vibe? Were, were, there, were there magic words spoken by someone? Um, no, it was just about kind of just everyone just calming down and just, uh, just kind of, like, regrouping and just... Um, 
obviously getting some 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 messages of things we could have done better, obviously, uh, and bring bringing that into the second half. But just both staying staying calm, obviously not panicking. Um, I think it's very easy to kind of get carried away away with yourselves. But no, it was it was it was pretty calm in, in, in the change room, and we felt like um, you know if we if we kept up that that work rate in the second second half that we'd uh, we'd come out on top, and luckily we did. Well, Nigel, just looking ahead, I think have to uh, now. It's, it's it's unbelievable to say this, isn't it? The FA Cup quarterfinals, what the first time for Grimsby in 84 years. What are the plans, <clears> I wonder, Nigel, now with, with Harry? You'll be flying them flying them off the, the production lines. Any um, plans to make special, commemorative Harrys? Well, I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to talk with the club on, on that one. Um, now, I, th I think there's still a fair few that, we, that the club can sell. Um, I mean, the issue is going to be how many tickets can Brighton allocate to us? Because we'll, we'll have them all, Mike. Um, you know, a weekend now rather than a Wednesday night yeah. in Brighton, Haddocks by the Sea. It <laughs> should be a really, really special occasion, shouldn't it? And, um, you know, I, the, the issue is going to be how many tickets can we have? Because I'm sure the Grimsby fans will be there in numbers to, to support our, our wonderful side. Well, thank you so much, all of you, and, and best of luck with the next round, Gavin. Thank you so much for talking to us, getting up after an epic night like that. We really appreciate it. No problem at all. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thanks, Mike. Amazing. Nice to have a positive story, isn't it? Yeah. Not so good it. for the guys who lost, but. <laughs>